Very exciting times. Uh, over the years, a lot of folks have talked about moving the video workflow to IP in a multi-screen. Um, but we finally have a lot, a lot of real movement uh, in that direction with HBO announcements, CBS announcements, uh, recent, a recent uh, Slink TV announcement about going over the top and providing services to the customers um, has made a lot of change, a lot of noise in, in the industry. We're very much excited to support those efforts, uh, working with Adobe and other partners. We're looking for a bundling these services and making it really easy for somebody like HBO or, or any other pay TV operator to be able to stand up these services and serve the customers with the highest quality of the service. Well, we have built a platform that enables our customers, ourselves first, and then our customers as well, is to process and digitize and optimize their media for multi-screen distribution. That includes everything from the acquisition to encoding, transcoding, packaging, DRM, ad insertion, publishing, and then working with the partners, again, like Adobe, to leverage uh, the streams that we produce to insert the ads, do analytics, do the client-side playback. Now, a list of customers includes uh, DirecTV, Microsoft, uh, CenturyLink, uh, AT&T, Uverse, NBC Sports, and a number of others, mainly in a programming uh, pay TV space as well as the, the sports space, sports entertainment. So when, when we look at sort of the, the overall ecosystem, there are a number of different challenges, and some of those have been evolving quickly as the industry is evolving itself. Scale is certainly still an issue. You know, scaling audience from a few hundred thousand concurrent live streams to millions of concurrent streams, which, you know, we're a few weeks away from Super Bowl, which we will believe will break yet another record in terms of concurrency and multi-screen viewing. So the scale on delivery size, scale on fulfilling the ads, customize ads, you know, we're talking about server size stitching, for example, be able to scale that. So it's very exciting what Adobe is doing with, with the Akamai partnership with Akamai to solve that problem. So I think the companies like Adobe, like, uh, like iStream Planet, Akamai, and others are coming together and finding solutions uh, to these problems. But sc scale is certainly nonetheless uh, preoccupying most of our times as, we, uh, as we're looking to design new products and services and make sure that we can accommodate that growth. Last thing we all want is to uh, industry to take off and we get all this great audience and they can get access to the video or they can get proper access to the ads or we can measure the quality of that consumption. Because when we met uh, at NAB there was a problem with the Academy Awards and that That's are, right. are, are things in your opinion, in a better shape now, going into the Super Bowl, for example, or other big concurrent live events? A absolutely. Um, in a, there's definitely a progress, a tremendous progress. And I think a lot of this progress, um, it really resides on two things. One is the company's been more enticed to work together. Uh, I mentioned some of the partnerships previously here, uh, including us in Adobe, obviously working really closely, making sure the content that we create, they can consume it properly in all the SDKs and measure it properly. But the other fact here um, is that technologies are maturing, and maturity of that is, is also driven by a cloud. Moving services in a cloud and having ability to scale based on on-demand versus sort of the fixed pre predictable scenarios, now we can deal a lot better with anomalies, such as having uh, having a Super Bowl and additional a million viewers shows up. We have ability to scale and accommodate that. So I think the cloud is, is transforming how we're designing these services and, and enabling, enabling our customers to consume, consume the content uh, in much more reliable way. And at the same time, on the back end, be able to measure, analyze, process all the different ads. And at the end of the day, somebody has to make money out of this. And, all our top key customers are very much concerned about quality, but at the same time, they want to make sure that their ads are fulfilled and have a ways to, to measure the quality of performance and, and uh, quality of those ads being delivered to the clients. Uh, when we talk about security, it's always a fight between the good guys and the bad guys, and, and not necessarily all the, all, all the bad that comes out of the bad guys. I mean, they're certainly teaching us a lot. Um, in an ongoing fight, we have to figure out the ways to protect the content. I mean. Our customers spend billions of dollars in producing and creating and licensing this content. So we want to make sure that what we're doing is, is, uh, is the right 
scenario, right amount of security applied to that. And that really needs to be balanced because there's always sort of uh, uh, a compromise that needs to be between how much of security do you implement to protect the intellectual property and content itself versus how much more cumbersome uh, uh, cumbersome that um, the workflow becomes to support that that sort uh, sort of um, uh, level of security and at the same time as well as the experience. At the end of the day the consumer experience has to be seamless and in high, high quality but the security element, element is critical to it and there's a, certainly a lot of movement in that space. There's a lot of fragmentation at the moment as well on there so that's pausing all sorts of challenges but again I think the partnership uh, among some of the key leaders in the space uh, is what will uh, you know, continue to push that forward and, and hopefully solve those problems in the long run as well. Things have certainly gotten better and they, they're going to get better more as more and more content gets on and more and more partners sort of embrace this concept of let's, let's, let's stop this fragmentation and really talk about uh, a building something that can be standardized and serve a lot of customers in a consistent way and provide the best user experience.